who are tuned in for this game. The greatest game on earth, they call it. And the Dumbledore, the, the talking, the build-up to the game now, it's all about the football. I have to say, the two coaches look remarkably composed, Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. They know it's all about the football. Guardiola's kept it low-key. Tonight he's going to let his team, hopefully he let his team do the talking on the pitch. Cristiano Ronaldo's got the ball, cue the booze, well handled by Valdez in very tricky, slippery conditions. And we just had a bit of rain before the game, didn't we? His start is continued and we'll make for us a slick surface. And Danny Alves, Lionel Messi still awaiting his first touch of the ball with five minutes gone. That looked like a corner. Assistant didn't give it, Messi picks up and goes in his first major dribble of the evening. The ball appeared to be glued to his foot, Di Maria clearly takes, takes the ball out of play. Tenacious as ever, Messi wins it back, the ball's glued to his foot. Get into their passing game, and you see Messi curling it in off the far post almost. It's exactly what he's trying to do, beat Casillas, chip Casillas. Chavi controlling his manner, Messi. Caressing the ball to Iniesta. He has Via out outside. Oh, plays it inside. Great tackle, but no, he's got a shot by Chami. Not the greatest goal you're ever going to see, but a mightily important goal for Barcelona. A huge slice of luck. Which is a slightly lucky goal, Rob, but to see Chami that far advanced up the pitch. He broke the offside trap. He's fortunate, he's alert with the finish. But Real Madrid were defending deep, talk of Barcelona, keeping it low-key this week, can open the scoring, Iniesta, slide rule pass, Xavi just in an onside position. He gets lucky with the first touch, but he's got the awareness, he's got the ability there to beat Casillas with a deft little flick with his right foot, opens the scoring for Barcelona, Xavi in the centre-forward position. Ballet-like balance from Xavi. That was magical. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great ball inside. Ozil. Di Maria. Spots the gap. Big save by Valdez. I guess he's not hurting now. And that's a big save. So soon after Barcelona have opened the scoring. Back from Real Madrid. Quick counter attacking. There was a foul off the ball there. Again, good advantage given as it's at the feet of Cristiano Ronaldo. You never quite know what's going to happen. And Top pass by him, that could have been a very embarrassing own goal by Abidal. And another important save by Valdez, he has to put his hand in the way of that, Jerry. Well, he's had to, and Real Madrid looked really dangerous. Shot to take more than one touch. Pedro. Xavi has it, it's a foul off the ball by Marcelo, acknowledged by the referee. Barca continue, through David Villa, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ramos. Gets the cross in, 2-0! Jose's not smiling now. Well, you have to just admire that football there. It was Olay after Olay. But 25 passes. And again, Real Madrid didn't make a tackle. They've got to get more physical. They've got to confront the blue and red shirts of Barcelona. They're getting back in position, getting back behind the ball. But it's far too easy for Barcelona in the attacking third of the pitch. They're stretching the Real Madrid back four. They're getting runners from deep, runners from wide positions. Real Madrid just can't cope at the moment. You see the ball switched out wide to David Villa. He's taking on Ramos. He's only going to try and get to the byline. Iniesta scrambled away by Ike Casillas. Real Madrid are rattled. Cristiano Ronaldo. We thought there would be an edge to the game, didn't we, Rob? But there's been one or two tackles. But nothing untoward as yet. And Cristiano Ronaldo is losing his court. And he's dragged out of a situation by the referee. And he's managed to draw the wrath of the whole Barcelona team. Even Victor Valdez, who's rushed 50 yards to say his bit to Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Jose Mourinho. Now, this is... <laughs> That's what it's all about. Guardiola would have gone down, but he didn't want to dirty that very expensive coat. <laughs> Much ado about nothing, is it? But... Well, booking for Victor Valdez. He got into a pushing match with Mourinho last year. He was an Inter Milan manager. And Cristiano Ronaldo has to watch his step now, having also been booked. But it's not like the referee could be blamed for this Real Madrid performance. Well, Messi goes down off the ball there. Now, he's not one to take a dive, but there was a connection with Cavallo. And this is a big call for the referee. I'm not sure why Cavallo got involved with Messi. He made a good tackle. It wasn't a dive for Messi. It was a fair challenge from Cavallo, who then accused Messi of diving. And I think Carvalho can count himself fortunate. The referee didn't see... I don't think he's seen that, Rob. Did he see Messi go to ground? And he's guessed. They've won the last two here. And they're in a very good position in the first half. Well, it's living up to the expectations. The most eagerly anticipated game of football in Europe. It's Barcelona who are bossing it. Shows a petulance from Cristiano Ronaldo, one of five players booked in the first half, both he and Lionel Messi. Their names are in the book, though their names are not on the score sheet. The score is in the first half, Xavi and Pedro. Welcome back to the Camp Nou. Barcelona against Real Madrid, says it all at half-time. Lasana Diara is coming on. Mesut Ozil is the player who's going to be sacrificed for the second half. I think it's a mission there from Jose Maria that he probably... Well, Barcelona have bossed the first half. They've had the steamroller effect on Real Madrid, who've been chasing around. A special one is a beaten one at the moment. Yep, but not finished yet. Now Messi. Drifting, driving. David Villa. It's a great partnership from that's really bottling now from Lionel Messi and David Villa. And again, far too much time afforded to the, the Barcelona attacking players without Real Madrid closing them down. Very line, weren't they, again, on trying to use an offside trap. But David Villa had time to run across the line, hold his run right to the perfect moment. He's moving very smoothly with Lionel Messi. Messi in Villa. Brilliant run by Villa. Can he finish it off? He can! It's four to Barcelona! Where did the goal stop? Well, it's official now, Robinson. Turn it into a route. They just love that pass inside the fullback. The easy option is to give it to the white player's feet and let him run at the defender. But they're so aware that the, the white players will look to run across. And get the pass, receive the pass inside the fullback. And essentially, then it becomes a one on one versus the goalkeeper, and David Beer doesn't miss. A superb goal. This team are really, really special. Now they look up to the heavens, Real Madrid. Gobsmacked. Or well, not done. There have been two goals in the last five minutes. Alonso steps over the ball. Long, hopeful shot. Well, As we mentioned earlier, Rob, this is a young Real Madrid team. A lot of players in there. Oh, that was a, a rash challenge from Ramos. One of those, I think, a little worse than it actually was. Ramos goes over to his Spanish international teammate, David Villa, and that's a favour. and asked him to get straight back up onto his feet to prevent the caution, which is going to come his way. Well, the whole stadium acknowledges another immaculate performance from Xavi. Beta gets a taste of the glory for about three and a half minutes, aiming for their fifth as we're into stoppage time. Bojan's cross, will it be five? It will! No! It's Jeffrey, sorry, Jeffrey, the substitute has joined the party. A great goal for another one of the Barcelona boys who's come through the system.
against them. Well, look at the celebrations, rather the players, the despair again of Real Madrid. Incisive attacking play, en masse, every member of the squad, the coaching department, everybody's there. Pique holding five fingers up. A 5-0 win against Real Madrid. More than the home supporters expected tonight. They expected a much more closer encounter. We can see there a beaten team from Real Madrid tonight. The youngster Jeffren breaks into the box. All that picture of all of the team celebrating together on the touchline. Oh, and another terrible tackle from Cavallio. And it's going to end very ugly. And there's a punch down there. Dan was apparently flawed. And also the referee saw that, he's seeking advice from his assistants. Well, that was the first foul. That was Cavallio's offence. And then Messi. That was Messi taken down. It was Ramos who, I think, takes down. Messi. Should the boss here, won't be pleased to see Spanish team fight amongst each other. Puyol, Ramos, Xavi, Pique. Oh, Jose Mourinho is absolutely flawed. He said last year, when they lost against Barcelona, but still went through in the Champions League, that it was the most beautiful loss of his life. Tonight is certainly the ugliest loss of his life. And that picture says it all, doesn't it, for Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, amid that, Ramos was sent off. Cavallio stayed on. Guardiola looks cool as personified as he heads down the tunnel, but I'm sure as he gets into the changing room, he will whip for delight. Casillas and co can't wait to get out of the stadium quick enough. A five-goal humiliation.